Hello. I've been really looking forward to today because we're going to make our bangle bracelet and our tile bracelet out of the beautiful cane that you made last time during the complex caning demystified video. You don't need very many things to make this project. It's really easy and inexpensive. You're going to need a roller, like we always do. You're going to need a blade, like you always do. And uh, you're going to need your cane and some scrap. Uh, I mixed up this purple because I had some stuff on hand to do it with, uh, but you can use scrap or you can use complementary color, uh, and you'll need your pasta machine. All the uh, pieces today are made with a number one setting or thickest setting on your pasta machine. And lastly, you're going to need this exotic contraption if you can get a hold of one. It is a soda pop can. It's eight and a quarter inches around, which is the size of a bracelet. And what you do uh, to your soda pop can to make life easier for yourself is you fill it full of rice all the way to the top until there's just a little bit of space left. And then you uh, stuff in a paper towel. Uh, I use a butter knife because I pack it really tight so it won't spill out. And I stick the paper towel in there to hold the rice in. And now I have this nice weight can to work with that doesn't tip over in my oven and um, it doesn't buckle when I go to make a cut or make an adjustment to the bracelet that I'm going to build on here. And this is for your bracelet base, so it doesn't have to be super perfect because we're going to be changing this up a lot, but it's going to be a nice strong base for your bracelet. Okay? So we're going to start there, and we're going to get going right to it today because we have a lot of ground to cover. So let's go! Okay, so to, to begin with, you want to make several strips of clay, scrap clay, or here in this case coordinated clay, on the thickest setting of your pasta machine. Uh, I made some 9 inch strips of clay. Uh, I made them just a little smaller than this 1 inch size. I made them 7 8 inch and I made two of them. The first one I wrapped around my can and I baked it up for 10 minutes to have something to start with. And I'm going to take my second strip for the bangle bracelet and I'm going to apply my cane slices to it. <coughs> I'm going to need 16 slices of this cane because I want to end up with about 8 inches. Even though we're working with a quarter inch extra, 8 and a quarter for a bracelet, these stretch out a little bit when you apply them to your project. So the best thing to do is um, go start with the 8 inches and then just let them stretch around the way they're going to. Okay? It always works out and uh, it works out fine. So I'm going to get my 16 slices of this. We'll start with the 8 and we're going to apply them to this strip. Uh, the cane cutting thing, you know, it's kind of become this whole industry. Uh, there's a lot of expensive machines you can get to help you with your cane cutting. But honestly, the more you cut cane, the easier it gets, number one. Number two, if your cane was not perfectly sliced, I don't see how that's really so tragic. So, uh, if you want to get a fancy cane cutter, that's okay. Uh, I don't want to put it down because there are people all over the world, I'm sure, make their living with those, and I'm sure they're great. It's just that um, keep cutting, keep practicing, and as time goes by, you'll feel more and more confident, you know, with your ability to cut cane. So... Basically, you're shooting for a nice good line on top, you're pushing straight down. Uh, one important thing is to um, hold your blade with both sides, hang on to it on both sides. And the other important thing is just look at one side of it. So when I cut a piece of cane, I uh, take it with both hands and I just watch the right hand side. Uh, if I'm trying to watch both sides, it seems to confuse my brain uh, in some way. So I usually just look at one side and make sure that it's going to be good, and that's good enough for me. So I'm putting my slices onto my uh, strip that I've made, and I'm lining them up so I can get the full benefit of my cool design. You'll notice that every strip isn't exactly the same size and thickness. Um, if I really wanted something that was machine made, I would probably you know, get it from Sri Lanka or something. So don't worry about it being exact. It looks good enough. The slices are good enough. And it's going to be really pretty. And I'll bet you, when you're wearing your beautiful bracelet, 
nobody ever walks up to you and says, you know, I think it's kind of a little high spot on your cane slice, you know, that's not the real world. So have fun, don't worry too much about that stuff. Okay, so I'm selecting the, the ones that go the best together with each other. And I've got plenty of slices here for both bracelets and I'm not even worrying about that, okay? So once you've got your slices arranged in some pleasing manner, uh, you want to settle them down a little bit. Now, you want to make sure you don't roll them uh, to death because uh, you don't want to distort them. So I'll just choose one of my little rollers here for my dead pasta machines, which is where I get them. And I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to bond it together a little bit so when I wrap it around the form, it won't split open too much. Now, if you do get little breaks in it when you wrap it around your form, you don't have to worry about that. You can always uh, just mash it down. And it's important to remember sometimes that we're working with clay. It's funny because sometimes you feel like, oh my god, it's the wrong shape or it's the wrong size. But, you know, dude, it's clay. So we can make it any size and any shape that we want, and we can always make it look pretty. So enjoy yourself. Don't worry too much about that. So now I'm getting a nice bond here. Um, that's a pretty significant high spot right there. I don't want to deal with it later. I don't want to have to uh, sand it or anything. So if I can feel a spot with my fingers and it's slightly higher, I can remove it. And this is sort of driving home the fact that our cuts don't have to be perfect. Because honestly, your fingers are going to tell you if you need to make a little adjustment. And it's not hard to do. So I'm going to take that high spot and take it out. And it feels pretty good to me. And I'm going to leave it that way. Okay. okay, so I've got my little squares put on my strip. And uh, you can see it's a lot easier this way than putting the squares onto the bracelet. Because you have a lot more movement and flexibility. So now um, I'm going to put some bacon bond on here. I'm sorry I forgot to mention the bacon bond uh, when I started out. Uh, but you can use your bacon bond or you can use your um, TLS and you want to put uh, lay down just kind of a bead of it on here keep it toward the center so it doesn't slop out the sides because uh, it's kind of can be hard to get off your blade and just causes extra work for you so I've got my bacon bond here and I'm going to take my special uh, pinky tool I bet you've got one just like it and I'm going to uh, smear it on there, kind of spread it out a little bit, not too close to the edges, uh, and flatten it out. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap this around here. Uh, the only thing you need to know about that is that the joint that you originally made here in the bracelet is the only place you don't want your new joint to be. So any place else works out just fine. And I'm going to start someplace. And I'm going to wrap the uh, strip around the bracelet. You don't have to have it really perfect right now because you're going to be moving it around, getting it nice and evened up. I'm going to make these ends match. They're pretty close. They get a little stretchiness from working with it in the heat of your hands. But you can make those adjustments quite easily. And so now I'm going to start looking at what I've got here going to be looking at the inside, making sure it's pretty evened up on my on my little uh, bracelet base that I made, right? And uh, the reason I made the, the bases at about 7 8 inch instead of a full inch is because it just gives me the opportunity to kind of curl this cane down on the edge. It looks nice that way. Um, you don't have to do it that way. You could just let it be what it is and then trim it off. So that, that's okay. It turns out uh, good either way. Some people like to sand and paint the edges and put like a gold or silver rim around them with a little bit of acrylic paint. There's just all kinds of things that you can do with it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to bend it down a little bit, the cane edge, and create a nice, a nice edging for my bracelet. Okay, so you've got your, your cane kind of wrapped around the edge a little bit. You can see it in the inside here. 
So that's a good chance for you to trim it. Let's see what you've got. In evening out your bracelet, you probably trim it several times because the main goal with uh, the cane at this point is just to have it be pretty much the same thickness on the base that it is all the way around. So that's why we're not so concerned with every slice being perfect because if you've got kind of a thick spot and you're pressing it onto this base, it's going to squeeze in a little bit more. It's going to be trimmed off. And um, it turns out really well. So that's why you want to just go forth with your cutting with confidence and not worry too much about the exact dimension of every slice. So you see I've got my bracelet trimmed up a little bit. If I see a really blatantly high spot, I can bring it in. I can even it up and I can trim it back off. So there you have it. You've got a lot of uh, flexibility with how you want to make this. Uh, and you see it's not very hard when you use the strip method rather than applying cane to the base itself. And it's nice and strong now too because your second strip is part of what's uh, reinforced your seam. So you can put this in a bed of cornstarch or a bed of baking soda or you could put it uh, if you're on a nice uh, piece of cardstock. Make sure it's round when you put it in so it's round when you take it out. And it's going to be really pretty. And now we'll go on to the tile bracelet. Now for our tile bracelet, we're going to start out with three one inch strips, about nine inches long by one inch wide. You make those on the thick ascending of your clay machine. I'm going to take two of those strips and put them on top of each other. And then I'm going to make channels for our stretch material. Uh, when I first started making tile bracelets, I was always obsessing about, oh no, the channels aren't going to match up, it's going to be all wonky. And finally it dawned on me, uh, why don't I make the channels while it's still in one piece? So that's what I do now, and you might want to try it. And the way I make them is I take my big monster ruler, or you can use your wire hangers, you know, your pieces of wire if they're nice and straight. And I'm just going to make two channels, one for each row of stretch cord. And I stick it in there and I kind of rock it back and forth a while just to make sure that it's wide enough to uh, hold my stretch. Okay? And I know for a fact that that stretch will go in there because I tried it already. So now I've got this, okay? I can go ahead and go back to my work surface and put the uh, cane on it. So this thing is going to be your base. And this is going to be kind of like we did the last bracelet, okay? So I'm going to take my slices, and each of these now is really going to form an actual one of the tiles. So don't, uh, you know, mess around with them too much, because I'd like them to stay one inch in this case, and not get too stretched out. And you don't have to put them touching. You can put them just a little easy bit apart, so that it's easier when you cut them. And I'm going to take my tiles, and I'm going to put them on like this. And I'm going to make eight of them for this bracelet. And then I'm going to cut them apart. So we're going to lay our tiles out now. This is getting so exciting, because we've almost got two bracelets already. And I think you saw this isn't, I don't think this is very hard. I think it's pretty easy. Uh, it's nice to make them at the same time. Because that way you've got your all your strips made and you've got your all of your your uh, material sliced. You know, it just makes it easier to make the two, and they look really cute together. You can wear one on each arm if you want to. They look really cute that way. So this time I'm not going to roll over them. Um, I don't want a lot of stretching on these. I'm just going to press them down. Make sure that they're nice and stuck. I haven't had to use any bonder on these because uh, all the material is raw and so it's much easier this time. So we don't have to stop and use your TLS or your bacon bond on these. Okay, And so now is a good time for me to cut them apart. 
So you want to make some nice neat cuts on these now because that's pretty much your final thing. I don't know how you guys feel about sanding. Um, I'd rather have hot needles poked in my eyes than to be sanding uh, tiles and sanding bangles and sanding everything for hours and buffing and polishing, you know. That's just not happening for me. And the way I prevent that is I really try to make things nice and smooth to begin with. Um, one of the fir first books I read, and I would love to give credit, but I can't remember who it was, and they said you kind of pet your clay, and you, you kind of do pet your clay. So what you're doing is you're laying it down, and you're just smoothing it gently with your fingertips. And, you know, my videographer, uh, the fox man, told me one time that um, he had never seen a fingerprint on any of my stuff. And I thought, well, that's a miracle, because God knows I touch it enough. But if you use a really light pressure on it um, with the pad of your finger, you get a nice satin kind of finish to it. You can feel it, and it feels good. I like to do it. So take your tiles, take a little time with them, um, and smooth them up. Uh, anything that's squished out while we handle it can certainly be trimmed off. And you've got some pretty good holes there. Uh, but go ahead and go back through and uh, twist the toothpick in the holes, okay? And just make sure that they haven't closed up on you so you don't have to drill them or anything when you're done. So you want to um, trim and pat each one of your tiles. And uh, don't forget to do the same with your bangle. You want to kind of, kind of smooth it and trim it. And take your time with this part of the finishing process before they're uh, baked so you don't have so much finishing to do okay after they're baked and that's my uh, advice on sanding is uh, don't do it if you don't have to all right well I don't know about you but I think that was really fun I hope you like making the two bracelets uh, there's so many bracelets that we can make together and if you want to make more bracelets you can email me uh, busypandora at gmail.com and tell me other things you want to make too because I want this to be something that you like as much as I do. Uh, we're going to be switching over to pendants the first of the year. I want you to be able to use your existing cane uh, from this project and other projects to make some pretty pendants that are really easy and really fun. So we'll be doing that in January. Uh, and then we'll be switching over to a whole new uh, batch of complex canes and some doing some cane sculpting, which I call skeining. And uh, we've really got a lot of uh, stuff in store for us in 2014. So thanks a lot for coming today. It's so much fun for me. And, you know, I guess the easiest way to explain it would be to say, you know, you're watching a funny movie. And it's not as funny if you don't have people watching it with you. And, you know, that's kind of the way I feel about caning and playing with clay. I get such a kick out of it, but when you guys like it, it makes me even enjoy it more. So thanks for coming, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.